been hearing a lot about the city's bed tax money recently. The city council will soon vote on whether to use the tourist tax to fund improvements at the stadium. But News for Jax has just learned bed tax money will also be used to promote a gun show. It's actually a shooting and outdoor convention planned for the convention center in July. Jim Pickett is live at the convention center. Jim, how much money are we talking about? $150,000 in bed tax money, and it's for to promote this event that's going to be taking place here. Now, they're actually not going to be selling guns here at the convention center, just a, a big convention here about guns and other outdoor activity. They're going to be using the front of the convention center, and they're talking about other places in the city. But it's one that's raising some eyebrows among people, but they're still wondering why the city would do this. Don McGowan says his event is much more than a gun show. It's a way for the city to promote itself and a way for Jacksonville to bring in more business and tourists. The heart of it's going to be inside the convention center. What we'll be doing is bringing in manufacturers from the outdoor industry, firearms industry. They'll be coming in and they'll be showcasing their new products. He sold his idea to the Tourist Development Council because he says he can bring in 40,000 out of towners. They're giving him $150,000 to advertise the event out of town. In turn, it's expected those people will stay in hotels and spend more money. People are going to say, why should the city promote guns? I wouldn't say the city's promoting guns at all. It's promoting, it's reaching out to a, a specific industry. You know, there are events like this around the country. There's only three of them like it currently, and they're very successful. They bring in a lot of people. McGowan says 25% of the exhibitors at the convention would be gun manufacturers, like Glock and Taurus International. The rest of the exhibitors will be related to boating, knives, and camping. The outdoor industry spends money. They'll come, they'll come and fish. They'll come and walk our parks. They'll come in, spend some time, and spend some money here. So that's where that money is going exclusively just to market to the outdoor industry, get them to come to Jacksonville. But given the current climate involving guns in America, we asked City Council President Greg Anderson, who heads up the Tourist Development Commission, if this was an appropriate way to spend bed tax dollars. There's no doubt with recent headlines uh, that, you know, our hearts go out to the victims of senseless crime, whether that be in California or Paris or even here locally. So I think we're all sensitive uh, to this. And uh, this specific event is a more broad event. Apparently it includes fishing. It includes uh, a lot of outdoor activities. It does have uh, some guns featured. You know, given that this is bed tax money, that's what it's designed for, to bring people in from out of town to stay in the hotels. They say that's what this does. They've also used bed tax money before for concerts and for some sporting events, and they believe that this is an ideal practice of that. Again, this won't happen until July, though it's already been approved. We're live at the convention center. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.